Horses are one of the most loyal and trustworthy animals you can own. Today's Daily Fluff TV episode is bringing you 10 epic horse breeds in the world. Number 10. The Nabstrupper The Nabstrupper is a Danish breed of horse with an unusual balance of coat colors and collaborations. The Nabstrupper breed was first established in 1812 in Denmark. The coat patterns on this horse range from solid to a full leopard spotted coat with many variants in between. The spotted coat is caused by a genetic complication called the leopard complex. Besides coat color, nab streppers are generally quite solid in build with warm blood and feature an old school style horse conformation. These beauties will definitely draw some attention when you saddle up. Number 9. The Canadian Horse As you may have guessed, the Canadian Horse is a breed from Canada. The Canadian Horse descended from a French stock that had been sent to Canada in the late 17th century. Descended from draft and light riding horses imported to Canada in the late 1600s, it would be crossed with other British and American breeds. During the 18th century, the Canadian horse expanded throughout northeastern US where it would be used in development with several other horse breeds as well. The horses are generally used for riding and driving. The Canadian horse has been linked to draft horse breeds including Percherons, Belgians and Clydesdales. The Canadian horse became Canada's national horse in 2002 and because of sinking numbers is now listed by Heritage Livestock Canada as an at-risk breed with numbers of new annual registered females between 151 to 500. Canadian horses have extra hard hooves that often don't even require horseshoes. Like other horse breeds, they grow long, thick coats in the winter so they don't need blankets and can live outdoors with varying shelter year-round. Because they're intelligent, Canadian horses are easy to train and they love to please. Even though they're smart, they're not high strung and very reliable. Bomb proof is how they are known by owners in the horse world. Number 8. The Marwari Horse The Marwari is a rare breed of horse from the Marwari region of India. Known for its inward turning ear tips, they come in all kinds of equine colors. However, piebald and skewbald patterns tend to be the most popular amongst buyers and breeders. The Raythors, who were the traditional rulers of Marwari region of western India, were the first to breed the Marwari Horse. Beginning in the 12th century, they laid out strict breeding that promoted purity and hardiness. Primarily used throughout history as cavalry horses by the people of Marwar region, the Marwari was noted for its loyalty and bravery in battle. Although white horses are bred specifically for religious use in India, they are generally not accepted by the Marwar stud books for breeding. Grey horses are considered auspicious and tend to be the most valuable, with piebald and skewbald horses the second most favored. Black horses are considered unlucky as the color is a symbol of death and darkness. Horses have white markings of blaze and four white socks are considered lucky. The Marwari horse often exhibits a natural ambient gait, which is how they carry themselves on when they move. The Marwari horse is primarily maintained for show, house safaris, sport, ceremonial and religious purposes, and during earlier days in war. Number 7. The Appaloosa the Appaloosa is an American horse breed best known for its colorful spotted coat pattern. There's a wide range of body types within the breed, which stems from the influence of multiple breeds of horses throughout its history. Predecessors of the Appaloosa arrived in North America during the early 1600s with Spanish explorers. These horses made their way into the Northwest where Native Americans began to breed them. Their strict breeding ideologies aimed to create a horse that was colorful, attractive and intelligent. The breed's name likely relates to the Palouse River area. At first people referred to this breed as Palouse Horses, which later became Appaloosas. The Appaloosa is often seen in western events including pleasure classes, barrel racing, cutting and roping. They can also be found in nearly everything else such as racing, dressage, jumping and endurance. Appaloosas are known for being gentle, friendly and loyal companions. They tend to be very eager to please which makes them a great horse for riders of all experience levels. The potential combinations of colors and markings are virtually limitless, giving each Appaloosa a distinct look. Number 6. The Black Forest Horse The Black Forest Horse is an endangered German breed of light draft horses from the Black Forest of South Germany. Horse breeding in the Black Forest has been dated all the way back to the 15th century. A type of heavy horse, the Black Forest Horse was used for forestry and farm work. These horses always come in a chestnut color with a flaxen mane and tail. No other color is to be registered. The coat varies from pale to very dark or almost black. Add a silverish mane to these stunners and the coloring is known to the Germans as Dark Fox. The Black Forest Horse is a breed of horses characterized by a dense mane that hangs down covering both sides of their neck, which is not common with most breeds. These are draft horses with immense strength, patience and a gentle temperament. Though most breeds falling under the draft are primarily used for driving, 
these horses can be used as a leisure draft for riding, packing, and more. They are suitable for semi-experienced or first-time owners. The Black Forest Horse is sometimes called the Golden Retrievers of the horse world. Number 5. The Fjord the Fjord horse is one of the world's oldest and purest breeds. These horses were known to exist in Norway at the end of the last ice age. It is believed that the ancestors of the modern Fjord horse migrated to Norway and were domesticated over 4,000 years ago. The Fjord is a relatively small but very strong horse breed that can take refuge in the mountainous regions of western Norway. It is an agile breed of light draft horses. It's been used for hundreds of years as a farm horse in Norway and in modern times is popular for its generally good temperament. It is used both as a harness horse and under the saddle horse for riders as well. The breed's conformation differs from many other breeds in that it is a blend of draft horse with a smaller size and greater agility. It has a strong arched neck, sturdy legs and good feet, a compact muscular body and other unique characteristics like their mane. The center hair of the mane is darker while the outer hair is white. The mane is sometimes cut shorter by its owner so it will stand erect looking almost spartan like. It is trimmed in a characteristic crescent shape to emphasize the graceful curve of their neck. Fjord horses are friendly, gentle, and willing to work with their owners, trainers, and riders of all experience levels. You can expect that a Fjord will want to please you and will be easy to train. Number 4. The Andalusian The Andalusian, also known as the pure Spanish horse, is a horse breed from the Iberian Peninsula where its ancestors have lived for thousands of years. The Andalusian has been noted as a distinct breed since the 15th century, and its conformation has changed very little over that time. Throughout its history, it has been known for its success as a war horse and was prized by their nobility in the war. The breed was used by kings across Europe who rode and owned these Spanish horses. Strongly built and compact yet beautiful, Andalusians have long, thick manes and tails. Their most common coat color is gray, although they can also be found in many other colors. They are known for their intelligence and sensitivity. The Andalusian is closely related to the Lusitano of Portugal and has been used to develop many other breeds, especially across Europe and the Americas. From the very beginning of their history, Andalusians have been used for both riding and driving. Amongst the first horses used in dressage, they are still strong competitors who take home ribbons and trophies in dressage to this day. Andalusians are also used for show jumping, western pleasure and many other classes at horse shows. The breed has a desire to learn and these horses can easily adapt to new and changing situations with ease. Number 3. The Curly Horse The Curly Horse was first documented in Nevada in the early 20th century by a rancher named John DeMille. While Mustang horses were a common sight, curly coated horses were not so common. The DeMille family would go on to familiarize themselves with the curly coated horse and this would lead them to breed their Mustang with these horses thus creating the Curly Horse breed. A curly horse is actually registered as a breed of horse. Curlies, also known as Bashkir Curlies, American Bashkir Curlies, and North American Curly Horses come in all sizes, colors, and body types, but they all carry the same gene for a curly coat of hair. The Curlies are known for their calm, intelligent, and friendly personality. They offer an easily trainable attitude and are known for having a tough constitution and great stamina. Most people have found that Curlies enjoy being around people and their owners. The curlies are typically not flighty and tend to do more reasoning than most breeds. They're very reliable and have a great work ethic. Curlies are claimed to be the only hypoallergenic horse breed. Most people allergic to horses can handle curly horses without any allergic reaction. Not only are they eye-catching and unusual in the show ring, curlies have the movement, endurance, and heart to excel in competition. Curlies have been shown at upper levels of dressage and show jumping and also others have proved to be a patient teacher and a weekend competitor. Number 2. The Percheron The Percheron is a breed of draft horse that originated in the Houssine River Valley in western France, part of the former Perch province from which the breed obtained its name. Usually grey or black, Percherons are quite muscular and known for their intelligence and willingness to work. The ancestors of this breed were documented in the valley by the 17th century. They were originally bred as war horses. Over time, they began to be used for pulling stagecoaches and later were used for agricultural and moving heavy goods. The Percheron is the most famous and most common of all French draft breeds in the world today. Percherons lack the heavy leg feathering of a Clydesdale and some other draft breeds, but their legs are notably muscular like the rest of their body. Their manes and tails can also be very thick and are often wavy. When working with a Percheron horse, you can expect that it will be alert, willing, 
proud and intelligent. This horse is easy to keep and very versatile so it can be used in a variety of ways. Because these horses are even tempered and strong, trainers and riders of all levels will enjoy working with Percherons, especially if they are comfortable with handling larger horses. Before we get to the final horse on our list, we'd like to remind you to drop us a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave us a comment down below to let us know the next Daily Fluff TV episode you want to see on our channel. Number 1. Akel Tech the Akel Tek is native to Turkmenistan, a republic in Central Asia and is believed to have descended from the Nizian horse which existed 3000 years ago. They have a reputation for speed, endurance and intelligence. The shiny coat of the breed led to their nickname, Golden Horses. These horses have adapted to severe climate conditions and are thought to be one of the oldest existing horses known to man. The Akel Tek, due to its natural athleticism, can be a sporty horse. They excel at dressage, show jumping, eventing, racing, and endurance riding. These lean, elegant horses have long, thin necks, noble heads, primarily straight faces. They have large, expressive eyes and active ears, high withers, a deep chest, and a long, slim body. While many think of the thoroughbred as the gateway for so many breeds with the Arabian as its ancestor, history suggests that one of the three founding stallions of the thoroughbred breed was an Akel Tech. This makes sense since they are one of the world's oldest and well-known racing breeds. The Akel Tech comes from a country where resources like food and water are slim. The breed naturally developed to survive in these conditions making them an incredible horse for longevity and harsher conditions. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this Daily Fluff TV episode. Check out our channel for more animal top 10s and interesting facts and we'll see you at the next one.